Hello and welcome to Cinderwine's Corner and today we're going to do a kind of comparison with the new bootleg figure of the new body compared to the uh, newer mould of the Hasbro clone troopers as well and just see the slight differences there just compare them up I mean well I won't go through the articulation as much because they both have exactly the same articulation there but in today's episode you will see this guy so this is the new updated body on this one here and we're just going to for laughs and jokes we're just going to bring in the old phase two clone trooper this one here is a bootleg as well and um looking at them you won't really see much difference so for now i'm just going to pull this one to one side and then we're going to look at these two clone troopers side by side so this is the obviously the old style mold and um you might have seen me before moaning about the sort of size of these guys it's very very minor but you can see here there's a very small kind of subtle difference here i'm um, just putting these two on the side let's put the gun just for a laugh on top of this one's head and you can see just where it comes up to this way it just knocks this guy here so um yeah it is definitely just a small increase even though it's a very minor in millimeters that millimeters is all around the actual figure itself which is slightly annoying but we can actually bring these down and we can look at both of their helmets as well you can see the sort of size difference here as well on these guys this one's slightly a little bit warped as well it's sort of like slopes to one side um you can see the sort of notice a bit difference here at the bottom this is quite wide and this one or well, this one's quite narrow this one's a lot wider and as we know this one's designed to be a removable helmet even though we know this one has a, a tomorrow morrison head up in the inside but it's quite glued in there so you can see the sort of like round circumference on the inside is a, a lot larger on this one but i would say the details of this one's probably a little bit nicer um again we have got the silver teeth and part on there we've got the glossy sort of visor we've got the uh the better looking uh black brow on this one it covers more of the actual molded plastic rather than this one's very thin and it's around at the top on the side the actual tube strips as well it just feels a little bit more realistic on this one compared to this sort of like fat rectangle part on there we have got the correct sort of like gray parts on the side of the helmet here when this one's black and uh, this one's got the uh, gray parts on the inside there as well and around on the back this one's got the black and this one hasn't so yeah obviously the bodies this one's a little bit older it's made like glossier sort of shiny plastic and everything that it's got going for it but it's really really nice so what we're going to do now i'm actually going to just take this head off which pulls off the neck because it always comes off really easy and we put this one to one side and then what we'll do as a bit more of a fair comparison compare the two um i'm going to take off this helmet because you know we've done the review already and um, so with that i'm actually going to nick his whole neck part and we're going to just pop this one on here to make this one a phase two clone trooper as well so they kind of look like both the same uh, looking at the actual AliExpress, they kind of look like they have gone for this uh, original look for the tube strips on the side. So I think it will be a lot more closer looking to this than it is this one. So um, yeah, just putting these two side by side. The size comparison as well for both of these is pretty much identical. It's not smaller than the other one. They definitely improved upon their on this as well. So putting the gun either side, it is definitely flat on there, which is pretty cool. But looking at the bootleg and comparing it to the official one, the bootleg one doesn't look as good. And I think they probably will increase the quality of it as time has gone on. I think what they've done is gone, oh, quick, let's just rush it out. Let's see the best thing we can do. And um, yeah, it just hasn't sort of like hit it off the mark as much as the sort of phase two of the older clone troopers have progressed. It just in the armor quality the sort of printing quality as well it just doesn't feel like it's there comparing it to this brand new hasbro one here so um, i'm not putting the bootlegs down they are what they are but the prices are increasing and um, so with that i kind of want to see a little bit more in the quality control if the prices keep increasing if they keep coming up to the sort of like price of an official figure then I think like, come on guys, you need to start lowering those prices down because yes, it's really cool to have all these bootleg clone troopers that have really fantastic print on them. It's just annoying that some of the sort of the quality of the plastic looks a lot cheaper than the official one uh, that is for sure so first of all we've just gone through the helmets on here so uh, which is fine the guns I just feel like are fine anyway they're just what they are what they are you know I'm not 
once they're on the shelf and in their hands, you're not really going to notice. So we take these ones out here, and we take this one out here. And what we do, we just go through uh, a sort of a slow walk down uh, through the actual body itself. The actual articulation is pretty much exactly the same. Um, well, it's, it is exactly the same. There's no point going through it all. It has got this rotation part up here, which is new. Um, hopefully, you've seen the review of this figure already. Uh, diaphragm swivel, everything's there. Nothing's sort of like not used, if you know what I mean. It's not like the old boot legs where they could only move out this way and they couldn't like move their legs forward and stuff. But... Um, Looking at straight away from the actual plastic quality, this one just feels the same quality plastic all the way through. This one you can see there's a few sort of inconsistencies of the plastic used on his ab than it is on the top of his uh, sort of chest area and on his legs feel slightly different inconsistency to the bottom part. So the more sort of squishier parts compared to the harder parts, there's a different slight look. Not massively it's just slightly a little bit grayer than the shiny part you can just sort of see it there it's just slightly ever so slightly and i think i'll probably just notice that because it's under my studio lights um but yeah just comparing these two here so first of all um uh, what i wanted to look at was the chest part this is the bit i really kind of notice uh if you look on this one here I'm going to put it dead set. So I've got the line through my camera, which you can't see, but it, no, it's level. So um, this side is a lot more droopier than this side. This one's quite perky. This one droops down seriously amounts. So that's literally level there with the line. And this one, as you can see, this one goes up this way. This one droops down. And bringing in the official one, I'm just going to put it on the line. And again, it isn't symmetrical either. But with the un unsymmetrical parts of it, when you compare it side by side, you can see this one's really kind of flat compared to this one here, which is really ridged and kind of squared off. And this one's kind of more droopy and a little bit more flat. So that's why I think it's more noticeable than this one, that this one sort of is kind of flattened down and it really gives out that shadow here, making it look really droopy. But yeah, they're both not symmetrical, which is a bit weird, uh, in my opinion. But um, yeah, coming down to these parts here, it looks exactly the same. Same down on here. This is where I was going to say the quality of the prints, like the actual top of the legs, like everything where it's sort of supposed to be smoothed off. This feels like it's finished, even though I've got a slight mark here on the official one. Um, it's a little bit ropey around in certain areas. It just kind of looks like it's sort of almost sort of been snapped off. Differences on here, these feel very sort of similar as well these used to be really soft before um for the official ones and these ones used to be harder but they're pretty much feeling the same official feels a little bit more softer than the uh, bootleg but it's not a much massive difference there and then going down to the feet we notice that there's actually a different color on the sole so this one's the official's got like a more of an earthy color and the bootleg one has got more of a, a sort of darker gray on there Coming down to the arms, we can look on these bits. You can see that the plastic quality in the actual parts that are used are a little bit more shinier and it kind of looks a little bit off and you can see all the sort of tag lines and stuff that's not really nice sort of looking there. So they do need a little bit neating up and yet more noticeable as well is actually on the arm pads as well. Um, these have got more of a nice sort of structure to it. And these ones kind of feel like they're sort of a bit more expanded out, looking a little bit more flatter, even though they are a little bit more glossier compared. You can see the noticeable, the sort of like the color, uh, the plastic bleed on the mold as well on the belt, especially on that thermal detonator there. Um, but the blacks as well on the actual figure are more shinier. On the top there, you can see this is more sort of like uh, more prominent than this one. Again, like the mold just feels a little bit more flatter. Uh, it's not as pronounced and rounded as this one here. It's just a little bit more flattered around on this side here. Uh, I was going to say about that, but the helmet's a, a different helmet, isn't it? So I was just about to pick that out on. But um, yeah, you can just see on the quality down here, like the arms as well, like especially like the printing and stuff on these sort of like comms unit. Uh, compared to the official as well. So the official is more prominent and more pronounced when this one just looks a little bit more sort of fudged up, in my opinion. Just looks like it's been squished down, uh, obviously, where it's been casted from this here as well. 
but it's not putting these guys down. I mean, I love to army build, you know, you know that these guys are only going to be around for so long and then they're going to disappear. So if you're like a new collector and watching this video like two years later, you know you probably can still be able to get these guys and they're probably a little bit better looking in quality now compared to these ones. You know, these ones will probably be disappeared off the shelf uh, and can't get them for love or money. So um, yeah, it's really cool that they're kind of expanding out on these guys. Whether or not Hasbro now will keep producing these guys, i got a feeling that they were keep going in between the older body and the newer bodies especially in those sort of double packs that are coming out as well so we'll still see but um yeah that's kind of like the differences there i mean if you're worried that you might pick up a, a sort of second hand and you thought it was going to be this guy and you picked up a, a sort of like a bootleg one then i would say just look at the shoulders here but if you can't got anything to compare between the two then definitely check the feet if it's a really dark gray then it is a bootleg with this one here it's kind of like a an earthy brown color a little bit like a just sort of i don't know it's hard to say but more like a more like a brown a brownie gray it's probably the only way i can say about it but um yeah they're kind of the differences on there but honestly you can't really tell these guys apart. If I put them on the shelf, uh, took some pictures, you probably wouldn't even tell which one's which from the distance. Apart from this one, just looks a lot more whiter when this one's a little bit greyed off. Um, so this one's been out in the sun for a, at least a day, and these guys are fresh off from Camino, in my opinion. But um, yeah, again, that's just a small comparison there. A little bit of rabbiting on, uh, going through these figures, sort of a, a bit of a finer tooth cone, um, and a sort of... In, intermittent way <laughs> i don't know it's been ages since i've been doing videos i'm trying to get back into it but i hope you haven't missed me too much anyway thank you for subscribing you can ding the bell you can uh be a member of the channel as well for 99p or 99 cents and you can follow me on instagram where you'll see more pictures of these guys for sure further down the line so until next time take care and i'll see you soon bye